panning, understanding how to pan can make your mixes sound a little bit more professional, just understanding what you're doing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the pan knobs like a boss, get your mixes sounding professional. What's going on, it's Casey, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well, hope you're safe. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the pan knobs in Logic Pro X like a boss. This will get your mixes to the next level. It might seem like a simple thing, but just understanding how to use these pan pots will make a big difference to your mixes. Before we do that, I need to shout out my two new subscribers. So shout out Monica Mia and Big Shaw. Thank you both for subscribing, I appreciate that. Hope you hit the notification bell as well so you get notified for future videos and for this video today. Otherwise you'd have missed your shout out. Favourite comment for this week coming from Gabriel Novodosky. You're welcome bro. Like I always say, I'm glad that my videos are reaching people and helping them because that's what it's about. That video, even though it was for music producers, I kind of wanted it to, I know that it would relate to a lot of people. So having a, a strong mindset and me being able to give you what's helped me to get to where I am today and it's something that I will always share so yeah thank you bro appreciate your comment hope you hit that subscribe button as well so when I put out other videos like that you'll see them all right enough of that let's get into this video so what is panning panning gives you the ability to pan your sounds within the stereo field if you've got two sounds that are masking each other you can pan them left right or any, anywhere in between to give them its own space but what I'm going to show you in this video is how to use panning properly because what happens is by default logic logic's pan pots are on are on balanced uh, balanced levels so when you pan left and right instead of having left and right stereo image moving as one the level of the left or the right will disappear let me show you so i've got my beat my beat here so i've got my beat So when you listen, you, you can hear some of the hi-hats going left and right. I'm going to move the pan pot for the drum section and you hear the hi-hats on the left disappear or the hi-hats on the right disappear. Now, when I turn on stereo panning, you hear that all the information moves as one. Because stereo, you get in information from the right, you get information from the left. The old way of doing things was to put a direction mixer on the actual channel and then move that left and uh, pan it left and right. Pan left and right. And also change the stereo width. But we don't need to do that no more. You don't need that plugin. Save your time, save your CPU. All you need to do is click, right click on the pan pot and stereo pan will come up. But I know will pan, I don't really use that. But I know some engineers like to use that, uh, beat makers and stuff. S start messing with the binaural placements. But all you need to do, is click stereo pan and then the pan pot's gonna turn green. So now you can move the whole stereo image left and right as one. By using the left and right locators, you can go to the left. So that's still stereo, or you can do it to the right, still stereo. So cool. Another cool thing as well that you can do, that like I showed you in the direction mix, change the width, you can make it more narrow, more mono, you want, and then place that within your stereo field. These are good ways of separating sounds. So it's simple, bring the left and right locators up and then you, and play about with the, the width of the sound that you're manipulating. If you want to go back to where he was, just hit Alt and click. Same with a uh, instrument or synth sound. Information from the right, information from the left because it's, it's a stereo sound. I'll show you what happens when you pan it left and right. You're going to lose information from either side. So if you're going to the right, you're going to lose information from the left. If you're coming from the left, you're going to lose information from the right. But if you use a stereo in the pan knob, all the information will be stereo. Show you.
So you know, you say you lose, you lose the reverb, lose the reverb, the stereo reverb when I pan it to the right and the left. Like the bigness is gone. You can still hear some of the reverb, but it's just not. It's, obviously, it's not stereo. So pan knob and watch how the information just stays the same, but it's going to the left and the right. See, still sounds big. And I can make that narrower. So it's not as wide now. Let's hear that with a beat. way which is good because panning is definitely going to help with your mixes just understanding how these pan pots work and how you can make a sound sound more stereo more mono creating creating air candy creating your mixes to sound pleasing to the listener just so that all these little things will help you with your creativity when it comes to mixing if you've got any suggestions for videos feel free to dm me or if you've got any questions dms are always open always always happy to help or just drop a comment below hope you found this video useful hope you got some value from it let me know in the comments below if you you've been using this already that you or you know about it or this is new to you i'd like to know if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime i put up a new video as per usual i appreciate your time